On the chastening point in this part to Rastafari nationality or spirituality. Rastafari is not a nation and Rastafari is not I and I nationality. Rastafari is I and I spirituality. We need to know Jalor. We need to learn Torah. We need to grow up to him in all things. As a Galatians chapter 4, and some of y'all recall we had touched on this in the previous uh, vid, Lion of Judah, uh, Judaism, quote, end quote, and we touched on Galatians. Because you see, many of us don't know uh, Torah law and we're making errors because we don't even understand man-made law, right? And this is why we're caught up in this confusion with one-to-ones going off, half-cocked, talking about Rastafari as I and I nation, and talking about Rastafari as I and I nationality. Almost as bad as when some of the African Americans, right? Some of I and I call ourselves African Americans, so-called. You know, Africa is a continent. America is a continent. Uh, where does the nation, what nation are we speaking about? Negroes, black people do the impossible. Right now, many are calling it Rastafari and I nationality. That's, that's not true, my brothers and sisters. Right? Going down that direction, one's wasting their time. Right? Because one is ignoring the Ivine mind, the divine mind, and not recognizing what I and I divine heritage is. I'll give you a hint. Read the preamble of the 1937 Higaman Gist, the Constitution and Bylaws of the Ethiopian World Federation. When you recognize what I and I divine, Ivine heritage is, then you'll recognize what I and I true nationality is as redeemed beta ethiopian hebrew israelite tribe nation and i and i as rastafari need to recognize what that name means and stop going off half stepping saying things that some of the rastas were saying in the 1970s and you can't really fault them so much they didn't have this information society technology right you know they didn't have all the access right to the half of the story that has not been told like i and i so if we don't have our name right and exact i mean i mean just just understand it. even today there's still ones and ones saying that rastafari means head creator right and if you know that Rastafari does not mean head creator, why don't you inform the other brothers and sisters? Why? Right? Why? Because you don't want to upset men and people. Right? But who are we upsetting? Who are we displeasing? We're displeasing I and I namesake. We're displeasing I and I Abba Father. Many of y'all are abbreviating your glory to Rasta. Right? What does Rasta mean? What does that mean? Because the heathen and she didn't cause dread, so we don't cause dread. Even Bob did the song, you know what I'm saying? And he said, don't be no dread, right? But we call ourselves dread because the heathen cause ourselves dread. Because they abbreviate our glory, then we accept that abbreviation. So we've accepted for 40 years that deviation from the way, the truth, and the life of the King of Kings in Christ. So it's no wonder we're in this situation and this situation that we're in as a people, right? As a people. Hear, O Israel, the King of Kings, I and I, Abba, I and I, Father, is the one. Now, let's just touch on this part two of what we was going to touch on on chastisement, right? Because we've been going through chastisement brothers and sisters, right? Individually, yes, but collectively in this spirituality, in this way, truth, and life of the King of Kings in Christ. And we was, 
the first part of the first vid, the first uh, part of this vid, we was speaking on Hebrews chapter 12, verse 8. So grab your pen and your paper, your sacred scripture, and bring a willing and a repentive mind. That's the only way you're going to be able to receive. Right? That's the only way you're going to be able to receive. Don't be deceived. Repent. Right? Have a change of mind. Hebrew 12 and 8 says, But if ye, speaking to we, be without chastisement, whereof all, say all, all mean all, not accepting none. Speaking of I and I, whereof all are partakers. Right? That chastisement, like in the eye of being, you're getting bun out. Right? It's like a rite of passage. You know, some folks, oh, why do you got to talk this way? You know, that's a rite of passage, right? If, you, if, if you're not bun out, if you're not chastised, well, let me read on. It says, but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, we all take a part, then are ye bastards and not sons. So let's ask ourselves, are we bastards? Mm-hmm. We don't know what I and I father's name is. We don't know what I and I father's name mean. So how do we know that's I and I father? You know what I'm saying? So if we're without chastisement, then we're bastards. Then you're bastards if you're not chastised. So see, correction doesn't seem good. It doesn't not pleasant. Right? Let's read a little bit more into this right here because this is the chapter chapter 12 of hebrews right do you know my fellow brothers and sisters who are of i and i i and i seed right we're speaking to the black peoples because we're going to speak to the gentile rastafari coming forward right because we have not even done due justice to i and i father's word and communicating the right instruction to the righteous gentiles and then we talk about, well, can a, can a white boy be a Rasta? You know, well, you're abbreviated. Why not? But let's read right here, Hebrews chapter 12. Mm -hmm. It says, Wherefore, seeing we, I and I also, are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, make I and I lay aside every weight, Weight is a heavy load. And the sin, the hatiyat, the systemic or the systemic anomaly, which doth so easily beset I and I, and make I and I run with patience. That's the key. Make I and I run with patience, not run with impatience. Let, make I and I run with patience the race that is set before I and I. Looking to Yeshua, looking to Isis, looking to Iesus, the author and finisher of I and I faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, the Meskel, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Ha Elohim, Kedamawi, Haile Selassie. For consider him that endured such contradictions of sinners against himself. Least ye, I and I and we, be wearied and faint in your minds. Let's pause here for a moment. Mm -hmm. Because some of the brothers and sisters give me a heads up. Sometimes ones and ones are kind of talking slander and talking all sorts of uh false reports against I and I, you know, even though they so-called come to I and I because they recognize that I and I has the truth, right? So look at this verse here. For consider him, right, Yeshua, right, Adonenu, Yeshua, that endured such contradictions of sinners against himself. We have to consider how he endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest we be wary and faint in I and I minds, right? Thinking, oh, it's too difficult. Oh, Babylon, I dread. Babylon about Babylon, right? Instead of learning about the way to Zion. Verse four, 
ye have not resisted to blood. Striving against khatiyat, striving against sin. We have not resisted to blood. All right, over this. We haven't resisted to blood, striving against sin. Mm -hmm. This is interesting because we're in the New Testament. Right? When the, when the Hadith Kidan, the Hadith Kidan, right? And the Hadith Kidan, it's a what? A spiritual warfare. Right? We're in a spiritual warfare in the Hadith Kidan. Let's just plug this in right here so this doesn't go out. All right. Right? We're in a spiritual warfare. Right? Old Testament Joshua, New Testament Ephesians. We're in a spiritual warfare. A spirit war, right? So it's, it's, it's spiritual, not against flesh and blood. That's what I'm saying. Ye have not resisted to blood. In Old Testament, Yehoshua, right? And the tribes entering to the promised land, they resisted to blood, right? But we haven't resisted to blood. This is spiritual. Remember, Rastafari is I and I spirituality, right? Striving against Khatiyat, striving against that missing of the mark, that missing of his way, of the King of Kings way, truth, and life in the black Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Verse 5, and ye have forgotten the exhortation, the building up, that word that builds up, which speaketh, right? People say, oh, you're not just talking, which speaketh. Ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh to you as to children. So if we're born again, are we born big? Right? Back in the days, they say when somebody's born big, they were retarded. Right? It just seems like some are born big. They're not born as children. They're not being as children again. Right? They already know it all. Right? Ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh to the eye as children. My son, despise not the chastening of Adonai, nor faint when thou art rebuked. Of him for whom Adonai loveth, he chasteneth, he correcteth, and scourgeth every son, every son, every son, each and every one, right? Every son whom, every son whom he receiveth, right? So this is what we say, I and I, we say we're Rastafari. I don't mean he receives us as Rastafari. Mm -hmm. Because you say you're Rasta How do you think I and I, Abba Father Are going to receive you as Rastafari You say you're less than what <laughs> Anyway maybe, 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 maybe they're speaking the truth About themselves But I and I stand Rastafari Verse 7 If ye endure chastening If ye endure That that rebuke, that correction in love, in grace, in the word, right? In the way, the truth, and the life of the King of Kings Christ, Ha Elohim, Kedamawi Haile Selassie, dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? So when we look at I and I tried to the present time, both individually personally and corporately right corporately as a as the body with him as the head then we can recognize this word right here if that's the key if ye if i and i and we endure chastening ha elohim baruch 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 who dealeth with you as with sons for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not. What son? But if ye be without chastisement, if you are without correction, if you don't want to receive this correction, right? Whereof all are partakers. We all take a part in this. Even I and I, especially I and I, is corrected. You understand? When I'm reading this word, what you think? I'm deaf to what I'm saying? You understand? I have to spend that time and making sure I and I live up. I and I change my mind to, to not be conformed with the world, but be transformed by renewing I and I way of thinking. That's carrying our cross. Where do you think the crucifixion takes place between our fleshy, our old man, our old person nature, 
and what we're learning in his glory of what is pleasing to him in Adonai, in Adonai, in Yeshua HaMoshiach, and through Yeshua HaMoshiach, because no one can come to the Abba Father except through Yeshua HaMoshiach. He is the door, right? If you enter in any other way, you're a thief. If you don't enter in through the door. Furthermore, I and I and we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. Now, today we know, some will say, well, you know, what's going on with the nuclear, the black family meltdown and everything. But this is principle. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected I and I. And we gave them reverence. We gave them respect. Right? We gave them reverence. Right? Shall we not much rather be in subjection? He is the object and we are in subjection to the father of spirits and live and live and live up. Verse 10, for very, for they verily bow net in truth for a few days chasten an eye and eye after their own pleasure. But he who be who he be, his divine majesty, Kadamawi Hala Selassie, for I and I profit, that we, I and I, might be partakers of Kedisinau, of his idleness. Verse 11. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous. And there was no correction, right, for the present seemeth to be joyous but grievous nevertheless afterward afterward say afterward after that bun out after that chastisement after that correction it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness to them which are exercised thereby you know some of y'all we know work out and that's good to work out the body, but we need to work out, right, our hearts and minds, our spirits and our souls, right? Many ex exercise physically and they make sure they work out, work up a sweat, but we need to work out, be exercised thereby. Verse 12, wherefore lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet. It didn't say wait till the paths just straighten up all by themselves. No, we are to make straight paths for I and I feet, lest, least, unless that which is lame be turned out of the way. That which is what? Lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. So it's healed through the, this word of truth. The word of truth heals us if we receive it. Verse 14, follow peace, follow shalom with all and holiness, kedisina, without which no man shall see Adonai. Looking diligently, right? Looking diligently, lest least any man, any one of I and I man fail of the grace of Ha Elohim, of the grace of Kedamawi Hala Salasi, lest least any root of bitterness spring up, trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Now, this is a very important point right here, brothers and sisters. Why is it such a very important point, Wendem Yadin? Well, uh, if you ask, I'm happy that you ask. Let's go to verse 14 again. It says, follow shalom, follow peace with all. And holiness, not just peace, but holiness being set apart, right? Without which no man, without which no man shall see Adonai. Looking diligently, looking how? Diligently. Be diligent, look diligently, least or less. And notice how many times least or less, unless, that's what that means, unless any man fail of the grace of Ha Elohim, Baruch, 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 who? Least, unless any root, now, now see when one fall short of that grace of Elohim, and the grace of Elohim, 
The grace of his majesty is manifest in our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Getachini, Jesus Christos. Amen. Amen. That, that's the King of Kings word. That's his word. Right? Have you heard his word? Right? That's the word is that seed. Right? That word is that seed. Just as a seed that a man puts in a woman and she bears fruit, that word is that seed. And if we fail of that word, that word of grace and truth, then it says, least any root. What? Any root. What? Any root of what? Bitterness. So where does this bitterness sometimes spring up? Right? In the house. Where does the bitterness spring up? Among the mansions. It's telling you right here that ones have, man and man have fallen short of that grace of Kedamawi Hala Selassie. Because they've fallen short Right of that knowledge of Gitachin Yesus Christos of I and I Black Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMoshiach, right? And then it says, least any root of bitterness springing up, right, trouble you, right? And thereby, by that root of bitterness springing up, troubling I and I, thereby many be what defiled, many be defiled, defiled, defiled is not a good thing. Just, just to remind you, look what the next verse says, verse 16. It says, least unless there be any fornicator or profane person. And this is not just speaking physically, this is speaking spiritually, right? So first it happens spiritually, and then it happens physically. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, as Esau, he saw Esau. Who for one morsel of meat, right, for something to eat, sold his birthright. Now, see, we, we have to hold on for a moment. His birth, what? Did it say birth wrong? No, it says birthright. His birthright. What is I and I birthright? Right? That's Rastafari. Right? That's our birthright. Right? So, notice what it says right here. It compares, Hebrews compares now, right, this fornicator or profane sheep, right, has fallen short of that addition of that holiness of the king of kings, as Esau did, who for what? One morsel of something to eat, meat, right? Not just meat like dead as a flesh, because it was porridge there, it was a K what, right? So it wasn't meat in that sense, but meat in that sense means something to eat. He did what? He sold his birthright. Right? He sold his birthright. It's like one's one I and I to call them Ras. You know what I'm saying? But yet, if Babylon stopped we and asked we for ID like an apartheid system or martial law system, then I'm going to find out that his name is really something else. And they might ask you, oh, uh, who is that? Oh, that's my brethren. What's his name? Uh, Ras, what you going to call it? Oh, Ras, how long have you known him? And this actually has happened. To I and I, you know, this actually has happened, you know, <laughs> in I and I experience and some others have gone through this. Right. But he sold his birthright because if you remember previously talking about live to live up. Right. Instead of living up, he's going along with conforming to the world. Yes, I'm Rastafari, I'm Rast, this and that. But I'm not going to go on the record. I'm going to like, you know, have one foot in and one foot out and then get split like the hypocrite, right? Verse 17 says, for ye know how that afterward, speaking about Esau, Esau, he saw Esau, for ye know how that afterward when he would have, when he would have inherited the barakat, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance. And we're in the teshuva, the teshuva, the time of repentance right now. That repentance season, right? For he found no place of repentance. Though he sought it carefully with tears, right? See, some people are laughing now, making a mock and scoffing and trying to clown what we're saying right here. But they're going to be these ones, if they don't come to the repentance and have a change of mind, that they're going to find no place of repentance. When they would have inherited the barakat, they're rejected. 
though they're going to seek it carefully with tears. For ye are not come to the mount or the mountain that can be touched that and that burnt with fire, that mountain which burnt with hot fire, nor to blackness and darkness and tempest and the sound of a trumpet, a shofar, and the voice of words, which voice they that heard entreated that the word should not be spoken to them anymore. For they could not endure that which was commanded. You see, and there are many ones and ones who cannot endure, don't want to endure that which the king of kings command, what he really commands of us. Right. According to his graciousness. Right. For they speaking about the Israelites, I think in chapter things like chapter 19, Exodus 19, you can read that for they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. That means like today it will get shot up. Right. And so terrible was the sight that Musa said, I exceedingly fear and quake, but ye, I and I, and we are come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living Elohim, the heavenly Yerushalayim, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to Elohim, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men, of righteous men, of Sadiqan made perfect, and to Yeshua, the mediator of the Hadith Kidan, of the Barit Chadasha, of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh for if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth much more shall not I and I escape if I and I we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven whose voice then shook the earth but now he hath promised saying yet once more i shake not the earth only but also the heaven you know we're in the time of the blood moon sign in this shimata year don't you know 2014 is the 77 two sevens clash but let's go forward and this word yet once more signifieth the removing of those things that are shaken as of things that are made. You know, a lot of niggas are going to get shook by this, right? But those are things that are made, like man-made, and that those things which cannot be shaken, those things that cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore, I and I receiving a kingdom i and i receiving a mengisht a malkut a government which cannot be moved make i and i have grace make i and i have grace whereby we i and i may serve ha elohim kadamawi halasalasi acceptably with reverence with respect and godly fear for I and I Elohim, Eloheinu, is a consuming fire. Amen. Amen.